Hello, my amazing subscribers. This is Carla Marie, and we are reading a second little installment on Fox's Book of Martyrs. These clips are very short because I'm just reading a persecution at a time. But this is um, just my little attempt to uh, bring a little bit of history and a little bit of clarity to um, understanding, you know, we very often do not understand where we're going when we do not understand where we have been. And as a church, um, we have uh, suffered persecution through the ages and many countries, um, Christians are still suffering great persecution. And so um, I wanted to read Fox's Book of Martyrs. This is going to be a very long project, but I'm going to do it very a little bit at a time. Today we're reading the second persecution under Domitian, AD 81. The emperor Domitian, who was naturally inclined to cruelty, first slew his brother and then raised the second persecution against the Christians. In his rage, he put to death some of the Roman senators through some through malice and others to confiscate their estates, and then commanded all of the lineage of David to be put to death. Among the numerous martyrs that suffered during this persecution was Simeon, Bishop of Jerusalem, who was crucified, and Saint John, who was boiled in oil and afterward banished to Patmos. Flavia, the daughter of a Roman senator, was likewise banished to Pontus, and a law was made that no Christian, once brought before the tribunal, should be exempted from punishment without renouncing his religion. A variety of fabricated tales were, during this reign, composed in order to injure the Christians. Such was the infatuation of the pagans that if famine, pestilence, or earthquake afflicted any of the Roman provinces, it was laid upon the Christians. These persecutions among the Christians increased the number of informers, and many, for the sake of gain, swore away the lives of the innocent. Another hardship was that when any Christians were brought before the magistrates, a test oath was proposed when, if they refused to take it, death was pronounced against them, and if they confessed themselves Christians, the sentence was the same. The following were the most remarkable among the numerous martyrs who suffered during this persecution. Dionysius the Arpegite was an Athenian by birth and educated in all the useful and ornamental literature of Greece. He then traveled to Egypt to study astronomy and made very particular observations on the great and supernatural eclipse which happened at the time of our Savior's crucifixion. The sanctity of his conversation and the purity of his manners recommended him so strongly to the Christians in general that he was appointed Bishop of Athens. Nicodemus a benevolent Christian of some distinction suffered at Rome during the rage of Domitian's persecution. Prostasius and Gervatius were martyred at Milan. Timothy was the celebrated disciple of St. Paul and Bishop of Ephesus, where he zealously governed the church until A.D. 97. At this period, as the pagans were about to celebrate a feast called Catagogian, Timothy, meeting the procession, severely reproved them of their ridiculous idolatry, which so exasperated the people that they fell upon him with their clubs and beat him in so dreadful a manner that he expired of his bruises two days later. So that was the second persecution, according to Fox, who wrote the Book of Martyrs. And this is Carla Marie. And may God bless your day.